Yesterday and today, a few schools across Pima County faced threats from students. Those three high schools, Miranda, Compass and Sienega High Schools. Nine on your side's Andrew Christensen is live in studio with us this evening. And Andrew, you went out to Miranda High School today where police were there all day long. Yeah, so Heidi, the Miranda Police Department was at the high school earlier today until at least six at night because they were investigating a student from the high school that brought a handgun on campus. That student was arrested and police tell us they're investigating the situation, but they tell us this all started earlier this morning around 10 a.m. when a student at the high school brought a handgun and another student told the administration. That's when administrators called the police department and the school resource officer found the student with the gun. As for any previous threats, the Miranda Police Department tells me students have made threats at the school before, but as for students bringing a gun on campus, they say that has not happened. Now, police say everyone on the campus was safe and they tell us tomorrow they'll remain on campus to make sure everyone stays safe. But this wasn't the only threat at Compass High School on Tucson east side the school was evacuated after a student made a bomb threat around noon now that bomb threat came in the form of a phone call to the person to the school the person saying the school was going to blow up the person making the threat was using a voice modulator but ended up calling again and at the same time school leaders called the police who got there right away now the students were evacuated and then they were sent home so far, we don't know who made the threat, but the high school's principal tells us the school and the Tucson Police Department worked well together. I think the teachers and the staff did an excellent job. I think our admin did a great job of, of fielding these calls at the same time communicating that to uh, TPD and then taking direction from TB, TPD on what was necessary for us to do. And Ferguson tells us that classes will go on tomorrow and he says there's going to be a town hall meeting with the students and he says students will be offered counseling on campus. Now as for that third threat that happened at Sienega High School, a student was arrested last night after making a threat to the school. Heidi. Andrew, thank you. For